I am a good Christian man. I am a lamb of God, not a ram of sin. All of my life, my mother always repeated the same phrase. Why would God give us hands, if only to make them dirty? She would say this with no emotion, other than the occasional scowl. We weren't close, you see. But at least all we will be when we, God's people, are together in heaven. I grew up with my mother, and a slew heathen of stepfathers. My real father was a good man. However, he was a Catholic, while list my mother was a Lutheran. So the horns of God's love would often clash. One night while I was asleep, I had waken up to hear a crash. I rose from my slumber to find my father dead on the kitchen floor, a knife sticking out of his back, and a puddle of his own blood surrounding, as any rational human would do. I began to panic at first, but my mother calmed me down. God allows those who are worthy to live, and those who aren't must be sent to... well... Every quick fling and prostitute, every pornography tape, I saw it. So I took our old kitchen knife and did the work of our Lord and Savior, and surely enough, Mother would find out. We would dip the lifeless bloody corpses into a vat of acid together, and Mother would remain motionless. I would try jokes, or try and make it into a little game, but she wouldn't go for it. She was always the rigid type. Well, soon enough, I would be off to college, but I declined to go. The Lord's work needed to be done ASAP, so I headed off into town, taking a cheap little shovel through the downtown Lutheran church. And I found work there as a janitor, so I'd always be with him. After a year or two, life with God was great. But one day, these two men walked into the house of God. These two men were different. Immediately assuming the worst, I began some digging on both of the men. I soon traced their homes to be at 16 N Chester Lane. For a few weeks, I began snooping near their residence, hoping to find some confirmation of the horrible truth that I would soon discover to be true. They were faggots. I tried to be tolerant at first, but I soon found it difficult. Those two people sitting in the house of our Lord, our Savior. So I approached them after Mass. I told them everything, how I knew of their unholy union, male and male. And they did not assume much, until I brought out the rusty, bloodstained knife. They plead for their lives, one even risking himself for the other one's life. But I could not allow it. They were not God's people. And must have been ended. After doing what must be done, I soon took their bodies to their grave and placed the knife on one of their bodily wounds and positioned his hand around it and put the other face down. I did what must be done. I'm a good Christian man doing God's work.